So I know what you're thinking. How can a gun be a GPS system? Well, we've come here to find out. Now, it's not that long ago, really, that GPS didn't exist. The GPS that has satellites, Google Maps, that sort of, that sort of thing. It tells you exactly where you are on the entire globe. But what did he do before that? How did sailing ships get across the Atlantic and other oceans head in the right direction and know exactly where they were at any one time? Here we are on the Wirral, just opposite Liverpool over here, to see a gun that told shipping exactly where they were. Now there's nothing special about this gun. There's hundreds of them all around the world and all different docks, colloquially known as a one o'clock gun. And here's the one in Birkenhead. So shipping used three things to navigate. Uh, one of these, a sexton, told you the position of the sun in the sky, how high it was. A clock, and one of these. So as in the name, they fired the gun at one o'clock signalling when the sun was at the highest position at the sky here in the River Mersey. So now you know it's one o'clock when the sun is this high in the sky. Now, now you travel over the Atlantic towards America and see what happens. So a few days into your journey, you would find that the sun at the highest position in the sky using this sextant would not be at one o'clock. It could be at 12 or 11, according to the clock that you set here in the River Mersey. So with the Earth set into 360 degrees, one hour equals 15 degrees. And if your clock is out by an hour, you know you have traveled 15 degrees across the globe. Look on your map and it tells you exactly where it is. Now this doesn't tell you how north and south you are, but it does tell you how you are east to west. Prior to this, of course, they would have used the stars when it wasn't cloudy to figure out where they were. That's a bit less accurate, but it would work. And now with GPS, you know where you are within a few millimeters. Look at that big weed bush blocking it. Should we see if we can get rid of it? to come back with a chainsaw 